Close your eyes. Go back to when you were a kid. Well, close your eyes right now. Are you the kid hero right now? The kid inside of you, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, whatever age you are, when you were a kid, big dreams, big aspirations, anything's possible. Every window's wide open to you. How do you let that shut? Where do you still believe it? If you now as an adult turn back to the kid at eight years old, the same person, is that kid proud of you? Is that kid saying, that's who I want to be? If not, open your eyes and fix the motherfucker. Supremacy, the dictionary says, a superior state overriding current authority, power, or status in the walk of life you're in. That's a third party subjective nature, third party agreement that this person is superior to others. In order for that third party to say an individual is superior, the individual must believe in the first person narrative that they are superior before anyone else buys the fact that they are superior. A belief must be so strong for a third party to buy that bitch. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, or quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest fucking worker there. And when you believe that you have the ability to do something, that the life that you're living right now is going down this direction, you fucking hate where it is. There is nothing else to do but to change direction. A belief that I cannot go that way anymore. I've got to go this way. And what do you have to lose? You know the outcome if you continue the same shit. Why not just, just, just commit one time in your life to something? See what happens. There are no losers. In the word, in the world of passion and commitment to something. No one loses there. The losers are the people that sit in the starting line and never initiate. It's the belief that supremacy exists. There's so many examples in the Olympics and every day we see the common man with the odds against them overcoming what people thought could never happen. And probably he didn't even think it. But there he stands victorious and a role model to all of us. Like, oh my God, we want to be him. But before he was him, he was us. What got him there was an undying belief. And every drop of sweat that came out and every pain and ache and everything else was just a, a, a telltale sign that he came closer and closer to that dream that we were when we were kids of being reality. Why not believe in it? What's the other option? There is no other option. It's life forgotten, man. In the acting world, if I go to the audition, I have a fucking chance of getting the part. If I don't go to the audition, I'm out of the game. I know the outcome. Nothing. Show up. Even if you get knocked on your ass, show up. At least you have a possibility. You have a chance. You have a voice of doing something with your fucking life. Believe that that supremacy exists. Believe it within you. Because every motherfucker that has ever achieved it had to believe it. When everyone else said it wasn't possible, they said it fucking was. And there they stand. Boom, did it, bitch. Your turn. No longer are we going to accept rhymes and society's rhyme the reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must believe it so much so that we're arrogant about it. We must be pissed off for excellence. Because last night I was moved to tears. That, that can happen. It doesn't happen until you show up. And when you show up, you give it all you have. And if you fall and, 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 and stumble, you fall forward, you don't fall backwards. Think outside the box. Self-generator success. Fuck the handbook someone else wrote. It's your life, your book. It's a war of many battles. The battles are fought every single day for betterment. To bring that belief to the surface of what we always knew we could be. I mean, isn't it about time you guys become the person you always knew you could be? Shut off the volume, the speakers of society telling you what you can't do. Listen to the voice from within, the energy inside, knowing you can be more than this. With all the limitations, excuses, negative energy, it's just high voltage of positive energy. Many battles, easily won on a daily occurrence. The war will never be won. Because that war is a better life.
the life of inspirement, where you lead others to join you in that endeavor and create something epic. That we talk about back in the day with Leonardo da Vinci or like Helen Keller or you know Socrates, all these people that did something beyond their scope. Back then, everyone laughed at them for being different. Let those fucking peasants of the world laugh at you now for being different, because that's beautiful. And laugh back at them for being the same motherfuckers everybody else you fucking see. This workout, when you finish this workout, guys, you should have an eternal fucking voice hitting so hard inside yourself. Like mama sitting there ringing the dinner bell. If not, your job ain't done yet. Turn the fuck around, that face, come back here and finish the day. Because this day is the start of evolution. Of the person you always remember for, called Legacy, motherfucker. You have the physical body to do something. You have the mental capacity to believe in it. What the fuck do you want? Stop running from the potential of what you can be, guys. It's inside of you, it's always been there. Grab a buddy of yours. Say, man, me and you are gonna fucking do this together. And you're gonna be on my ass if I start slacking. I'm gonna be on your ass if I start slacking. And I'll never accept mediocre again. I'm always gonna give it my 110 fucking percent. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. That's all that will ever find peace in. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. If there's potential inside of you, which you know it's there, but you're too scared to tell anyone else about it, and you go on and on, get older and older and older and older, and the windows of opportunities start to close, and you knew it could have been given birth to, but you never did it, I promise you, it will haunt you. It'll be more, it's a living nightmare, dude. That fact that you have the ability to do something and you're too weak to fucking turn the key and start the engine on it is a greater disappointment and a greater burden to carry than any of this physical sweat equity or pain in the gym or school or, or sacrifice. All that is just nothing compared to a life where you're burdened by regret, guys. Two forms of pain. Pain that breaks you and the pain that changes you. That's the pain of the change right there. That's the pain of progress. The pain that destroys you isn't this shit. It's later in life knowing you could have been more and all that's left is you and the fucking year and tears of a possibility left that you allow to die. Own your fucking life, guys. You have every opportunity. There's no excuse not to be the hardest motherfucking worker in the room. In all your endeavors, schoolwork, the gym, your career, your relationship, your name's attached to it. It's gotta mean more than anything. Sometimes in life, the answer is not always revealed the forefront. You learn the reason behind it later in life. And later in life, you get hit with adversity where so much is riding on you. Not just you, your family, everything's riding on you. And you overcome it. Without even losing your win. It's easy for you. Because I paid the price. I hit failure over and over again here. When I mattered out there, guys. Victory, my Who's the victor? You guys are. It's a house you live in. Not the house you put a key in, unlock. Your body. It's a house you're forced to live in for the rest of your life. You don't get to sell. You don't get foreclosure. You can't do a quick sale. No. All you can do is modify and improve it. Or you can tarnish it. You can injure yourself. People are like, ah, oh, it's too much effort to go to the gym. And, you know, I don't know. A whole hour every day. to live in, man. What kind of house do you want to live in? This is our land where we do all the work. Champions aren't found on the podium with their hand up. No. Champions are found in the lab studies. The thousands of hours of hard work when no one's watching. That's what makes the will unstoppable. The gun blast begins now, man.
must change how you see things. That comes down to your commitment, your sacrifice, your diligence and sweat equity to see that through. Everyone likes to talk of game. Very few want to walk it. Those people that like to walk it better than talk it, they're the ones we write stories about. Champions are never born, guys. They're creative. Today, another nail in the structure. So that's the end of the uh, shoulder, shred, super set, uh, S cubed. Shoulder, shredded, super set, <laughs> workout. Coming to you, greatfit.com. We'll help you stay fit and eliminate competition, external competition, as well as interior competition. That's the biggest block for most people, is that they're getting their own way. You come here and hit the gym and hit hard like we just did, don't tell me you don't leave with a little bit higher stock value on yourself, you know? Take that into your next day, it grows and grows. Start achieving things you didn't think were possible, small things, small things that have to big things, that's it to a good life. Start giving back, start being a role model other people, see them try to rest and transform themselves and overcome obstacles. And uh, that's what it's all about, man. Uh, anyway, great play to help you stay fit. Have fun with that workout. We're all wrapped up here. Remember I said the sun was going down? Well, it's down. It's to bed. The sun is gone till tomorrow morning. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to go home and slam our protein in our 45 minute window, man. We're going to feed our muscles and clear our muscles with bed too. So they wake up in the morning even stronger. Ready for the next day. Ready to come in and kill it again. Improve. Every single day, guys. So this is a little saying I live on. And I think you guys should try to incorporate this too. My question to you is what makes for a good day? Huh? Think about that for a second. I'll tell you what my thing is. What makes for a good day for me is that I go to bed that day a little bit sharper mentally and physically than when I woke up that morning. If I can go to bed stronger mentally and physically than when I woke up that morning, then I can find that day with another day and another day to make a good week, to a good month, to a good year. There's nothing out there I can't control. Nothing out there I can't overcome. Nothing out there I cannot become. You know, it's all within the space between these two hands, between these two ears. So, it's up to you, man. Everyone has one life to live. How do you want to be remembered by? You know, it's your call. Anyway, I'm tired, going to bed. Great play to help you stay fit.
but it all starts again with a small step. When you're building a house, it's one brick to another brick, it doesn't seem like much. But when you make millions of them, and you look at a structure, holy shit, that's awesome. It looks, seems overwhelming. Break the th fucker down, same with our goals. We have this monumental test. We're gonna be this, you know, epic person later in life, you know? That starts today doing something right. Tomorrow continue to do it. Step by step, it builds a house that one person's like, God, how did that happen? One by one, you start to get up early, you start to do the right eating, the right diet, the right nutrition, the right workouts, having an effective plan to your actions, for the results of your actions. Day by day, you start to add up, add up, and then the naysayers, the bullshitters, everyone wants to be behind your back. You know, they're like, oh my god, how the fuck did you do that? One step in front of the other, day by day by day, makes that legacy, man. Tomorrow begins right now. Now, some people say there's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've never heard of the day called Sunday. Someday I'll become something. Someday I'll start something. It's right now, guys. Today is the day someday arrives and something tomorrow will have the fruit of your labor. It must be that way. The dream that you feel, man, inside, the belief that can be, it must start with action today. If tomorrow's ever going to have any bearing of light to it, they say dreams are things that, you know, that, that you see when you're sleeping. And I say bullshit. I say dreams are things that keep you from sleeping because you can't wait to become it. Some people like, I hear this all the time. Some people write in, they're like, hey man, I tried your workouts out, man, at the local gym and stuff. And all the trainers there tell me I'm doing it wrong. All the trainers here say, you know, you're going too hard. You're not keeping enough rest. You're doing this and that. It's, it's an overload. It's an overload. You know, Really? Is it an overload? Because no one tells me that. When I'm here doing this shit, no one fucking says a word about what I'm doing wrong. They come up to me saying, hey man, what can I, how can I do what you're doing? So let's look at that now. Those come up to me because what I do is produce this, which they want, so they don't say it's wrong because they know it's right, they know it works. So they go up to you because you don't look that way yet. You think I started that way? No, I built that way. You're building that way too, and you're allowing all these people that are just talking nonsense to you. And you're trying to decipher what's true. You're trying to make sense out of nonsense. Stop listening to all these people that haven't woke it yet. Haven't became it yet. Listen to yourself. If I'm doing this stuff, I'm not sitting here trying to sell you guys something. I'm telling you exactly what the fuck I did. And what I've done has, has created something that, that it's been taught for the last eight, ten years. I live in this mode. I don't diet down, diet down, diet down, do a show and then blow up in off season. No, every day is all in season for me. I don't listen to these fuckers. I don't listen to anybody below me. I don't even listen to my my, my, my same level. I listen to people above. That done more than me. I want their advice. Stop looking like you got shit all over yourself. Because that's why they're coming up to you trying to tell you something pitch you something, because they're, they're basically giving you an insult, saying, hey man, you're doing it all wrong, shouldn't be doing it, shouldn't be doing that, because you look like you don't know what the fuck you're doing, just believe in what you're doing, you will be it soon enough, and then you can look down on those motherfuckers, rip your dick out, and fucking urinate on them if you want, fuck them, believe in yourself, and stop making sense of what their fucking nonsense, if they were all that, they wouldn't be a trainer in the gym, they'd be somebody outside the gym, but they stay in their little fucking comfort zone, and come to you and pray on to make themselves feel good. It's like me going to a fucking uh, playground and punching kids to make myself feel better. Fuck them. We're putting the work in now so we never wonder what it is. But once it's dreary and gloomy and despair and cold, it's now a day to go to the beach. How funny is that? How fast can you turn your day around, basically? That's unbelievable. Some people can sit around and wait for the opportunity to change like this, and then they get the fuck up. Some people strike when that iron's hot. Other people just keep on striking until the fucking blade's so hot it slices through anything. Some people get up in the middle of a snowstorm or a rainstorm, pushes through, listen to their pride, not their ego. And what happens? The sun comes out, birth of a new day, new opportunities. We're living. 
We're not waiting here for it to pass by. Your greatest moment, your greatest hour, will be right after your worst hour of despair. Because in that worst hour of despair, who are you? Who are you? You know one. The foundation that you build yourself on, your looks, or your money, or your family, or your friends, have all whacked you at that point, haven't they? What's left? Just you, mano to mano. Who's talking inside? Is there anything left? You're the bottom of the barrel, no place to go but up. That's the voice that carries your weak ass, pathetic ass, that everyone said goodbye to and left. But get the fuck up, find a personal fortitude, stand back up in a cloudy day until the sun comes out. That is your finest hour. That's the positive confidence of pride, not the negative confidence of ego. We are worried about other people. What we do every day, every single day, what we do becomes habitual and routine. Through practice, every single day we do the same thing, regardless of egocentrical ideas and ideologies of weather, surroundings, elements, people, regardless. We're on our mission because this universe, we are the center of our own universe. We continue to do the path that we believe in. It doesn't change in a biased nature of someone else's opinion or the fucking star or the... No. Headstrong, confident, pushing through it. And in the end state, you're sitting in the sun after a good fucking workout. You've paid your fucking dues today. Maybe pay them again later because it felt so good. It's when you go that far in the gym and you leave it all there in despair and you're so weak and you're on your ass that your greatest hour of growth comes right now with rest and nutrition. The demand has been created. Let's go get supply now. Very put. Help me stay fit. Yeah, it's hard. It's not easy. But as soon as you get it through your head that life's not easy, the better system of success you'll have. Nothing's supposed to be given to you. You're not entitled to shit. You're entitled to what you work for, strive for, fight for. In here today.